to the Tinker Tales channel and welcome to part four. You have to think then, didn't you? No. <laughs> part four of our Florida Friday 2007 vacation memories. I'm just looking down there because the cat's just, I'm waiting for her to jump up on me, but no, she's decided better of it. But yeah, this is all our footage from our 2007 trip. What we can find. What, what we can find. Videotape. Yeah, because we've had to, it was filmed on the little videotapes that you then had to convert into a proper VHS and then we've converted that from VHS to DVD so some of the footage along the way has gone bye bye yeah. hasn't it we've filmed a lot more than what we actually have on the DVD but yeah we thought it'd be fun to show you guys what Florida was like in 2007 um please be aware that this was never meant for YouTube YouTube was not a thing vlogging was not really a thing this is just our Home, home video footage that I thought we'd share with you. So today, um, we're back at Epcot. We're back at Epcot, um, and we watch Illuminations, R.O.P., which is by far my favourite fire fireworks show I've ever seen. Absolutely love Illuminations. So this was the first time we ever got to watch it, and it was back when you could just get a really great spot, couldn't you? We always went to the same spot, didn't we? No, really? this is the first time we ever watched it. We watched it from right in front of where the globe comes. Did we? We did. Yeah. yeah. See, I remember these things. But you can't watch it from there now because that's where you have like a disabled or in a fast pass yeah. area. But it's literally in between or just to the left of one of the trading posts. Okay. Um, that you get the little shops that you have there. It was literally right next to that we watched it from. It was a really good spot. And we kind of walked up, I think like 10 minutes before yeah. and just got a spot. You could do that back then. You can't do that now. Um, but yeah, so it was the first ever time we watched Illuminations, and then, this is something we always had to do until we started staying on property, or hired a car. Well, the first three first trips. First three trips where we didn't, or two, two trips, trips, two trips where we didn't have a car, um, and you had to catch a shuttle back. The shuttle, like Illuminations was on at nine. The shuttle was at half past The shuttle was at half past nine. So you literally had to, as soon as Illuminations oh, finished. That was the last shuttle as well. That was the Yeah, that was literally the last chance for you to get the bus back to your hotel. We used to have to try and leg it through from World Showcase to the front of the park. And then it was like a bus stop right down the far end of the car park, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and you know what it's like if you've ever been in Epcot or any of the parks, as soon as fireworks kick out, it's like... Just an, it's everything stops and it's like trying to just trying to find your way out. Trying to the, find um, your way out, like yeah. Haunted mansion. Yeah, it's just so packed. It's just ridiculous. There is no way out. There's no way out. Um, so you have to try and go with the flow and dodge past people. And I thought it was funny to film it. So there's kind of it's quite dark. Obviously, it's a really old camera. The sound quality is not great. Apart from the pavements. Apart from the sparkly pavement lights, which I was obsessed with. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's quite dark, but it's like what the rubbish we were talking is. We were kind of trying to find our way back to the bus and working out whether the camera was, whether the battery on the camera was going to die first or the tape was going to run out because this used to be the challenge. Yeah. I mean, we kind of still have it with what's going to go first, the SD card or the battery, but you know, whether the tape was going to conk out first. But the big challenge was did we ever make it in time for the bus? Yeah, did we get in time for the bus? Answer is no. <laughs> on this occasion, we were sat there and you'll see it on video of sitting in the car park waiting for the bus to come the bus never came apparently i think we it went a bit early because we were there on time yeah so it went a bit early the bus never came and then we were like we waited about half an hour didn't we yeah. 45 minutes and then we we're like i don't think this bus is coming <laughs> we're like um how the hell do we get back to our hotel yeah. um we obviously we, it was before uber yeah there was, was no poorly. uber no lift did we get the bus back to ticket and transportation I think to get the taxi from there because everything had gone everything had gone yeah literally it was closed. everything was, no was closed there was no taxis the monorail I think wasn't what had stopped so I think we've got like one of the last buses back to ticket and transportation yeah and then got a taxi from there it was a stressful night wasn't yeah. it it was a, and it was a late one I think we didn't get back to the hotel by about half a left <laughs> but there we go so please enjoy our evening at Epcot on behalf of Walt Disney World, the place where dreams come true, we welcome all of you to Epcot and World Showcase. We're gathered here tonight around the fire as people of all lands have gathered for thousands and thousands of years before us to share the light and to share 
a story. An amazing story, as old as time itself, but still being written. And though each of us has our own individual stories to tell, a true adventure emerges when we bring them all together as one. We hope you enjoy our story tonight, Reflections of Earth.
us at Epcot have enjoyed hosting you at World Showcase Lagoon. And we hope you have enjoyed Reflections of Earth, presented by Sylvania, a Siemens company. Thank you. this off now because it's bugging me. Bye! Bye. Look at these, these are cool. These are sparkly pavement lights. Only in America. Only in Disney. It's a pavement. No, it's a light. What is it? Who knows? They get dug up anywhere else in the world. <laughs> and now I am actually filming darkness. <laughs> you out, isn't that? Oh, oh. oh, we've only got a minute left to take. I get run over by a bus. This is the worst part of our holiday. They're so waiting. Sitting and waiting for buses. Who then tried to kill us? <laughs> it's shit. Our bus driver's not very good. He never stops at our hotel either. We have to walk across the road. Look at these people waiting for buses. All the Disney buses. Oh, search lights. Don't know if you put this up on camera. Oh, you can just about. Oh, search lights in the sky. And oh, 
zero minutes. We're on the countdown. Ooh. There's Richie. There he is. Oh, man, I lost. So I said the battery would go before the tape. Yeah. And the tape's about to go. I Not win, good. so what do I get? Not good. You get air from my lungs, babe. That's not our coach. Got all the Disney buses behind us. They're just as bad. London Transport? Yep. Well, they're alright until someone throws up on them. Yep. This is who we are in Disneyland. Disney buses. Woohoo! This is going to cut out any minute. So I'm going to say good night. Good night. Good night. Night night, night to Epcot, though, so we can get the ball in. There it is. 